What's up guys, welcome back to the video. Today we're on NFL Head Coach 09. Now, I want to break a like record. Can we do it? Can you guys, three, two, one, drop a like, bam. Like record smashed, let's get it. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. So I ordered this game off Amazon, I'm gonna show you guys on the screen. Uh, right now, there's kind of like a little bit, almost like a trailer playing for like what we're gonna see. I have never played an NFL Head Coach game. I literally have, not. I'm curious in the comments down below, uh, just right now, before we even jump into this, because I don't know for sure, well, what team would you guys want me to become the head coach for? Like, if there's a specific team, make sure to comment it. I also show comments all over the screen throughout the video, so chances are your comment will get shown in the video. No idea what to expect. I've seen mixed reviews on this. I remember when it came out as a kid, I just, I never picked it up. I don't know why. At the time, I was didn't really have a lot of money. When I was like 12 years old, so I wasn't able to just like buy Madden and head coach 09 and do whatever I wanted. Uh, but that's kind of the trailer. Here we go press start i honestly guys literally no idea what is about to go down so my favorite team undoubtedly i don't have to tell you guys twice is the tennessee titans i think i can select that without automatically being selected as the head coach for that team at least i hope i can i don't know we're gonna learn together i want this series to become successful i want you guys to enjoy this we get to create our own playbook i think there's a lot of fun stuff we're gonna be able to do with this so i hope you guys are just as excited as i am so we have a career mode uh xbox live my coach media world so i'm guessing this coach now is just like coaching a regular game we obviously want to go with a career mode. i'm not interested in just because so i can go existing coach or I can go, um, so there's existing, or you can make your own. Now, Jeff Fisher, as much as Jeff Fisher is a beast, and I want to actually look at this to see what, like, the worst team in the league was at this point in the NFL, because that's actually going to help us. So we got 11-5 and five on these teams. Boy, how things have changed so much. 1-15 in 15, Miami Dolphins. I feel like that's a good one. I remember when the Dolphins were terrible. Honestly, there was a while where the Dolphins were, like, beyond bad like they were next level they hit that level of bad that like nobody wants to hit the browns were actually good here uh that's to the patriots went 16 and 0 so i'm pretty sure the giants are pretty good too uh 4 and 12 with the raiders 3 and 13 with the rams 5 and 11 with the ravens 7 and 9 with the saints 10 and 6 with the seahawks i feel like i'm going into the past because i remember all these seasons now i am going to go with for now and i hope you guys are cool with it i'm just going to kind of make the executive decision and go with one of the worst teams and go with the worst team in the NFL as I feel like that is my like that's my best chance to make this exciting I want to build from the ground up I want to make a team better so this is my appearance gotta edit my first name in case you guys don't know what my first name is it is Bill um so I'm gonna be doing that Bill, I'm totally kidding my name is Brett um Brett let's go last name Barrett let's get it I'm about to be a coach fellas it's gonna be kind of just like a walkthrough. I'm not gonna do a ton of edits or anything. I kind of want you guys to see what this game's like. Uh, also, the interface of trying to scroll here, I'm really struggling. Not really typically an Xbox guy. Uh, appearance, I don't know. Which one do I look like? Spinning image. I've never seen someone look more like me. Why are all of these coaches so coach looking? They all, like, I, I like, co not all coaches are overweight. Okay, good. Here, we're evening out here. Okay, coach 10. Oh my gosh. Okay, I might have to settle on something like... Nor I was hoping that, that... I think Coach 14 is probably what I'm going to end up going with. But I do want to scroll through all these. You got some really funny looking faces in here. Oh my goodness, Coach 19. How many Coach faces do they have? Oh, they have a lot. Okay, give me a second, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find... I'm going to do this. Okay, I think the most accurate and like is actually Coach 14. Like That one actually feels relatively good. Okay, so I got to decide what is my personality as a coach? How am I... If I was... A coach I feel like superstar highly ambitious perfectionist that knows he's one of the best and let someone know I'm not I wouldn't say I'm, I'm not a perfectionist I'm a very like go with it make the right decisions and life will work out like I'm a kind of the flyby like just every day you just kind of do something oh my gosh there's options okay driven into that is team oriented dependable and willing to take charge I'm let's say I'm a commander but not really superstar no traditionalist I'm not traditional I don't want to be the same loyalist this is a team player that enjoys structure and trust. I don't like structure. A humble, conservative person doesn't say much. One eternity later. I'm gonna go with a virtuoso. I think I'm more like, I never really get too stressed out. So I, these are my skills. Um, so obviously you can kind of pick what skills you have. So you have your team chemistry uh, and I can actually purchase this. I hope it's not actually like, so I, this is where I kind of choose which ones I want. I have 4,800, 48,000 points. 
So there's different things that I can kind of put this to and like to give me the advantage. Now I would say the thing that I have the most like skill in would be like developing a quarterback mentally. So I'm gonna go with like the intangibles development. Uh, is there what are the what's the third one? Intangibles learning development. I'm, I'm gonna say like I'm I would consider myself not like a QB expert, but I want to be like involved in the offense. I think as a coach, I would be the coach who's kind of calling the plays. I like to think that I can help them physically. I don't really see myself as someone who's gonna be able to um completely like I, I was a quarterback my whole life but if i actually was a coach i don't think i'd be able to like completely transform everything about them uh i'm not gonna spend too much on those i do kind of want to go up here to the intangibles i feel like this is important i think my play calling has to be completely maxed out i want to be an expert play caller and i'm gonna spend what it takes to get that high and then you have strategy and performance physical development physical okay i think i'm going to like i have if I spend these, I can get like one on each of these. So let me go there. And then physical development. Okay, you know what? I, I'm happy with this. I, I'm I personally like I'm totally cool with it. I want to spend another 2500 though. Uh, let me go. Yeah, I'll just I'll just spend that there. We should be essentially out of money now. So I just used all of my skills. Offensive playbook, I gotta kind of pick what I want to do. If I'm a passing guy, I would say I'm more of a passing guy. Um, I'm probably like, I don't like to mess around, but I also do like to run the ball. I think I'm going to go with kind of like a spread look. Passing plays, run plays are relatively even, uh, but I think I'm going to go Moraldi. My bad. I totally lied. Jim Johnson blitz. I don't just sit back. I like to blitz. Okay, so choose a starting point. Preseason, offseason, scouting, common, and draft. I want to start in the draft. I want to draft the people. I want to have a say in like who this team brings in i want to say and all that stuff um this is actually super cool i'm really excited about this this is really fun so this is like kind of just giving me like an idea of okay what quarterback could be a sleeper so it's telling me that like this johnson and ryan so the sleeper is johnson the overrated is matt ryan out of boston college i don't know if i call him overrated but they're saying johnson ray rice is the sleeper um this is funny because these all these guys are like in the league now which i find super funny uh adams okay perfect that's what i like to see okay we're gonna sim fast okay important dates okay so the off season begins franchise tag etc okay uh team philosophy position hire position coach higher control i'm gonna say i'm gonna give up like position coach i'm gonna give up a lot of control i'm like trainer give up a lot of control gm hire um eventually so we have these dudes here. We have Dwayne Brown, Christopher Jonathan Stewart, Darren McFadden, Glenn Dorsey, Matt Ryan. The quarterbacks in this draft, if we were to look and kind of create, I'm just going to go by a thing, quarterbacks. The one that I feel like I would like to go out and get, and I'm going to put him first on my draft board as him. They also said that there's a big sleeper here in, in, jo in uh, Josh Johnson. Why is that not moving? Okay. They're telling us that Josh Johnson is a sleeper. So we're going to move up Josh Johnson. We're going to move Matt Ryan down and we're actually going to put Joe Flacco in his position. Uh, and that's kind of going to be my main guys that I'm going to go for. I don't know why some of him, but whatever. Well, um, we can draft halfback wise. I'd love to take one of these guys. I don't want to take Jonathan Stewart. I think for me, at least Chris Johnson is number one on my list because that's my dude. That's my boy. I love him to death as a Titans fan. Jordy Nelson, Devin Thomas, Donnie Avery. I think that's fine. I'm not going to mess with this too much. Um, so we, right now we gotta do franchise tags, which is like essentially we can, that's just kind of like a tutorial. Okay, so I have a choice to franchise tag these players. I don't really see any need to franchise tag any of them. None of them are impressive enough where it's like them being gone is gonna be a big deal. So like, I'm completely fine with letting them go. Coach, what should we tender this free agent? What the heck does a tender mean? Okay, free agency preview. Okay, best players we got. Alan for okay, Jason Elam. We got some good Rob Baronis. Terrell Suggs. He's a young dude, age 24, already a stud. I'd love to go after a bunch of these guys. And like just starting this season, we gotta we gotta pull in some of these free agents. This is so freaking fun. Why have I not played this? Okay, free agency is upon us. Okay, free agent bid. Okay, so we got oh, so everyone's been okay. The Buffalo Bills are leading with 34 million. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not I'm not feeling the bidding right now. We we have we have the first overall pick. 
So I need to decide who I'm taking with my first overall pick. Our current player is Josh Beck. I don't really want, I don't really want Jay Feely, I'm sorry. Okay, Eugene Wilson, 23 million. I'm gonna just, none of these free agents are seeming that exciting to me. Okay, Adam Fineca, uh, no one wants him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna join that. I'm, I'm gonna bid a little bit on it and see. Okay, so the, the bidding war on this is like crazy. Broncos doing with 38 million. 48 seconds remaining. Like this bid is going way higher than I really was expecting this to go. He'd be a stud, but like I just, I honestly don't feel like he's worth that. And like I'm trying to build this team. This is the guy that I want to go all in for. Because I feel as though he is going to be the best player out of all of them. So I'm gonna wait until like it gets low and then I'm gonna start bidding. Got him. Okay, so we got we, we got Terrell Suggs. Okay, let's go to this coach. I have places to be. Okay, so I'm thinking we get him 24 million three years. Incentive, we incentivize him for 10 sacks. Let's go over this coach. I have places to be. I, I, I'd say we incentivize him with sacks. Okay, he wanted that one. It's a deal. We signed Terrell Suggs. That's our big, that's our first Big move is getting them. Also, left tackle. Okay, he's at 86 overall. Our current left tackle is bad. I should definitely hop in on this bidding war and just try and, like, I'm trying to get as many people as possible. So it's just us two. I'm going to outbid them. Okay, we, we got them. Okay, 5.6 million. That's a left tackle we really, really need. So I need to, like, let's, let's go ahead and start these negotiations. He wants, he wants, to, he's got to start. If he starts in all the games, I'll offer him the ninth package. It's a deal. Perfect. Left outside linebacker, quarterback, Dorsey. Okay, so what do we got? We got a 76 overall quarterback, Ken Dorsey. I don't really want to mess around with that too much. Ken Hamlin, Sean Alexander. I would love to bid on Sean Alexander, but I just, I, he's 30 years old. I'm going to overpay. He's a running back. I don't want to overpay on a running back right now. Getting Randall gain 82 overall. Could be huge. So let's go ahead and raise the bid here. See what teams drop out. I'm sure if the price is right, like I still have 43 million in cap room. I'm sure if the price is right, I can still hit. And I, I got him. Our leading with 20 million and we get him. Um, I feel like we might slightly overpay for this guy, but we need corners. Um, he wants package 12. Okay. So they, they get to decide what, okay, Michael Turner, I don't want. Isaac Bruce, 86 overall. He's an older guy. But like any type of receiver that we can bring in helps. And he doesn't really have a ton of, he doesn't really have a huge bid right now. For an 86 overall receiver, we're trying to win now. I feel like it's not smart though, bidding on an older guy like that. I think we need to like rebuild here. Okay, so we lost our left guard. So I'm 100% going in on Stacey Andrews. That would give us two 80 overall guys and could be huge if we could like... If we could pull in a guy like this, who's a young stud, like he's a beast, I, I, I think it could be really beneficial to like exit and just go get a guy like Stacey Andrews, who I know I can plug in a left guard, like perfect, 27 million over five years. So we, we upgraded our left guard, which was a goal because we lost ours. OJ Otagwe, I love him. I really genuinely love him. I love the idea of making our defense amazing. So we're gonna bid on him too. We should be able to get him pretty easy. And like there wasn't a ton of interest, so we, we, we get him. Okay, there's a young guy named Bernard Berrien um, that I want to go after. I, I, I can afford him. I want to go after. I need, like I'm trying to build a winning team here in one year, guys. That's the goal of this whole season. I hope you guys know. I, I want to like, I'm going after these big time free agents. I'm paying more than anybody else. I'm willing to lose money. But on a 25 year old, locking him up for that amount of time is, is huge. I don't really have a great defensive line either. So if I get another... um. Tight end, LJ Smith, 83 overall. I don't even have a tight end right now. I think I'd be stupid not to go after this guy. Okay, so free agency is essentially um, finished pro day scouting. Uh, I'm gonna go to, I think I want to go to, let, let, let's go to Boise State. Okay, so right now I literally legitimately just wanna look at our roster and just see like, what do we have here? Like what's, and like, this is a rebuilding project, but I've already signed a bunch of top free agents. We got, still got Jason Taylor. We got Terrell Suggs now. We got Joey Porter. Our defense is what is kind of my main focus. Defensive, offensive line. And kind of like we got Ronnie Brown. The quarterback position is obviously a big, 
big area where we need to improve, and that's what I'm like. I'm I gotta pick. Most likely, I gotta pick a quarterback in the draft. I think we're probably gonna end up going with. I'm in between, but I, I think oh, I remember when he became a free agent. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I legit remember when David Stewart became a free agent. Frick, life's crazy. Okay, so at this point in free agency, we're pretty much at the point where it's coming. Like, it's closer to the end than it is the beginning. There's pretty much only 77 overalls left. Um, I don't need linebackers. Um, Eddie Jackson would see 77. I don't really want to like go all the like. I don't have a ton of money, and I kind of want to save it. But I know that I need. Like, these are some positions of need that I really should be going after, but, like, Eric Coleman, we already have a good safety. Punter, Mitch, right tackle, Kyle. Like, I think I need to be jumping on some of these, like, kind of smaller scale free agents just to make it, like, just to fill our roster. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that over the next little bit here, but uh, I'll see you, yeah, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so we have a trade negotiation. Um, it looks like Hollis in exchange for Ferguson. Um... I don't know if I want Hollis. So I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. Free agent bid. Marcus Weeks seems to think that I kind of need a running back. I, they keep throwing running backs in my face. I don't really want a running back. Um, yeah, I really don't. Okay, so as we make our way through here, guys, I'm pretty happy with like the overall kind of team we have. Like draft board wise, the mock draft is saying that we need to take. We need to take him. I don't really want to. The guy that I want to go after, I think, that is the biggest like help. We don't we don't have a quarterback right now. Let's just be honest. Jake Long isn't gonna turn this team around. I think we gotta go Matt Ryan out of Boston College. I think that's the obvious pick. Or we go running back. I know Chris Johnson was amazing in real life, but I genuinely think here we go Matt Ryan. We we take the best quarterback. We, we do our thing. I think that's where we're going to go in the next episode. The draft is actually going to be the next episode. So make sure to kill the like button if you guys are excited for that. And then in the later rounds, we kind of go running back. But I think at this point, I need to make sure that my focus is on, like, I think Matt Ryan, like, I, I think Matt Ryan should be my number one. Like, I, I really do. If you look at our team, like, we, we need a quarterback, and that's the most important position. Like, if you look at halfback, we're not bad receiver. We have some big time free agents coming in. Like, we we got that Breland is coming in. Um, tight end in the later round. Our left tackle, I signed a left tackle. Our O-line is very, very solid. Um, left end, right end, our defense is good. Our tackles are all right. Like, it's, it's gonna come down to, we, we have a lot to work on, a lot to do, but I think in the draft, if I make these right decisions, I, I genuinely think we're gonna be okay. I'm just worried, do we even have a, like a right guard? Like, do we even have one? Yeah, no, I, I gotta sign some of these positions. Give me a sec. Okay, Kerry Collins from the Titans in exchange for Josh Beck. Josh Beck isn't staying. If I get Kerry Collins, like, oh my gosh, case okay, so pack is off for the following list. No, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I don't care about Kerry Collins that much. I honestly don't. Okay, guys, with five days until the draft, I am going to end this right about now. I really hope you guys enjoy this. I'm having a ton of fun. Um, like, I really genuinely love this. I, I can't even explain it to you guys enough. This is this is an absolute blast. I think we're going to have fun in this series. I want you guys to comment down below, actually, like, as a second comment. Who should I draft with this first pick? I, I want to leave it up to you. Like, do I go Chris Johnson? Do I go Jake Long? Do I go... The Boston College quarterback in Matt Ryan. Do I go Josh Johnson? What do you guys think I should do? I have the first overall pick. God bless you guys. I love you all so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe right here if you haven't already. Road to 1 million. Also, if you haven't seen my most recent video, it'll be right there. My Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter are down below. So make sure to go follow all of those. I love talking to you guys on there. Thank you again for watching the video.